All righty, welcome back. We were able to work out our connection with Brooklyn native Sorry, and Chief Rabbi and Shabbat Emissary in Kharkiv, Ukraine, Rabbi Moshe Moskovitz and his wife Miriam. Miriam, let's talk to you a little bit. Why haven't you tried to get out of that area? Because, you know, it seems so dangerous for you and your family. Okay, so we, we have been here 32 years ago. The Lubavitcher Rebbe sent us to be emissaries in Kharkov. Uh, then it was the Soviet Union, now it's uh, Ukraine. Um, there's, there, there's around 25,000 Jews here. Um, we are here to, to do whatever we can to help uh, the Jewish community. Um, and so as long uh, as everybody's here, we will stay here with them. There are, there are a lot of people who uh, try to leave before, but I'll uh, be honest, as hard as it is to believe, no one, as much as the whole world was saying it, no one believed that such a thing like this would exist, uh, would happen. And Rabbi, I know that it's it's about a 30-hour drive to Poland where we're seeing a lot of people flee the country to, so that may be impossible for some of the people in Kharkiv to do. What are, your, what are you doing in your synagogue now just to help some of the people in the area to prepare for some of the bomb raids and the shellings that are going on? Downstairs in the synagogue, in our dining room, we have people sleeping there. They came with their kids, with their, their, their families. We have some cats, some dogs with us also. And uh, we, you know, we opening the doors to everybody. We have cooks, four cooks that are sleeping here the whole time in the synagogue. They're not leaving. And they're cooking the whole time and giving food inside. for whoever we can help. We try to send food to people in their homes, but... Rabbi, are we hearing bombing in the area? Is that what we hear behind you? Are you okay? It might be from the video that we played, but I'm not sure we lost some audio connection with them. Uh, you know, it's not easy. I mean, you know what's going on uh, in Ukraine right now. And we were concerned this morning that we might not be able to talk yeah. to them mm -hmm. because there is bombing yep. outside their home. As it happened overnight. We may have gotten them back. They're back. Okay. Rabbi, are you, is there bombing around you right now? Is that what we're hearing? Right now. Yes, you are hearing, you're hearing bombing in the background. We leave my house and we are now speaking to you from the synagogue, which is on Pushkinskaya at 12 on Sunday, Sunday morning. Uh, we had, we've had bombings all the time, Thursday, Friday. Uh, Shabbat on Saturday, we were actually able to be in the synagogue and pray. And while the prayers were happening, there was bombing going on around. We were able even to have a Shabbat meal with over 100 people downstairs. Uh, but then when we got uh, Sunday morning, we already heard that the Russian forces at 5.30 in the morning had broken through the border of Kharkov and had entered. We had the Russian tank, uh, from where I'm speaking, one just, just like, you know, a few steps away, burning on Sunday morning. The entire Sunday, we did not, uh, no one was able to leave because there was tanks shooting in the streets. At uh, 5.30 on Sunday afternoon, the, the Russian forces had left and we all had a sigh of relief until yesterday, which was Monday, was absolutely crazy. Monday, we actually we made, were able to be in the synagogue till the curfew at 3. We had a quiet night. I was about to go 8 o'clock in the morning to a supermarket to bring food to the, we were going to be, I had a connection to get some food to bring to people and then at 8.01, the, the bomb fell. Yeah. But we're keeping our spirits high. And you know, the Rebbe, the Senator C 1990, he told us that we are like the capital of the ship. The ship is sinking, capital leaves the less. Well, Rabbi, so I, we are here. Ah. I, I do want to ask though, because it's the Russians' goal to capture the city of Kharkiv. What do you do then? Well, we are here to help the people. We, you know, we, we understand there's a lot of things going around and there's a lot of fighting and a lot of politics. Our uh, main mission here is to help the people. And, and here we're not looking at, at uh, nationality, religion, color, everybody who's, who we can help, we're trying to help. So what we are praying is for peace. We are praying there shouldn't be any war. Nobody should attack anybody. Everybody should be able to continue living in peace as we were used to live here before in uh, Kharkov. So basically, we're not focusing so much on the, you know, on the peace talks and the politics that's going around. We are thinking, concentrating on the people who need our immediate help. Well, you're very brave, Miriam. How can people here help? 
Um, talk to people in, in, in Hear Health, the entire America, all these amazing people that, uh, that we feel the, a, a gigantic hug from the entire world with the, the care that we are getting, the messages that we're getting. Um, I'm, from here, I'm already telling you a personal thank you to all the people in the entire world who we feel are with us. Um, what I would like to ask is just that everybody should just add in light and good, because the more good we bring to this world, the better place it becomes. And hopefully we'll have a world where there'll be only peace and we'll never have to be living through uh, wars and any suffering. I, I have heard some, uh, there are some supplies running out in terms of medicine and food. Is, is there, are you experiencing that? Is that something where people can actually help in, in pour in particular goods like that? Well, we, well, well, well our, our uh, website, Facebook, uh, Jewish Kharkov, J-E-W-I-S-H-K-H-A-R-K-O-V. Uh, on our website, we have uh, a place where we, we're also anybody who wants to help us financially, but uh, we need uh, everybody just all over the world praying for us. We believe, uh, um, if we don't believe in prayer, so of course, we believe that we've got to reach to the higher sources to, because it looks like it's so complicated, I think only God himself can help us out of this one. Well, please be careful. We are praying for you. Thank you so much Thank for, you. for what you're doing. Thank Rabbi, you. Rabbi Moshe Moskovitz and his wife Miriam, uh, Chief Rabbi and Shabbat Emissary of Kharkiv, Ukraine. Yeah, we certainly will be praying for you and wishing you guys the best of luck. And as you heard there. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. They have a Facebook page if people want yeah. to help. And I just cannot believe that we just had them live on air right now and you hear bombs go off in the background of How that. How frightening. Okay.